you doing guys? It's Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. Thanks for joining in on another video in our electronic component diagnostic testing series. In this one today, we're gonna to be looking at how to test your battery voltage. In this video, we're gonna be using our digital multimeter once again. We're gonna be looking for voltage at the battery and we're gonna check how many volts your battery Settings has. First, we're gonna take our multimeter and make sure we have the prongs in the right setting. We're gonna to wanna to put it in the volt side with the ohm setting. That's gonna be the one you want your power cable. Your negative black cable is always gonna go in the calm area. This other side, this is for amperage testing. We'll get to that in another video. You can either go here on this side for 12 volts, which would be on this end here, or we could go up to the DC input over here, which is a 10 mega ohm, or also this is gonna be up to like 20 volts. You go positive to the positive cable negative to the negative cable. But the beauty of the multimeter is you can swap it too. It'll just give you a negative reading. So let's go ahead and test this battery. Positive there, negative cable there. And what do we got? 13.41 volts. And what we can do is we'll just go ahead and replace them on the other side. Let's just get them backwards just so I can show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, it's the same thing, 13.41 volts, but now you have a little negative sign there, which shows you that you have it hooked up in the wrong polarity, which is okay. We're just checking the volts at the battery. Beautiful. One thing I wanna to mention to you guys when you're checking batteries is, if you want to check the amperage load of your battery, you need to get an amperage tester for your battery. Your digital multimeter does not have the capacity to test the amount of amperage this battery puts out. If you were to hook this up and to test amperage, if you were to say plug this in over here and then go to DC 10 amps, the second you touch these probes here, these wires would get so hot they'd probably melt. You might smoke your little, your little multimeter here as well, or if it has an inline fuse, it would blow the fuse obviously. So, just remember if you're going to test battery amperage you need to have a battery tester and also guys along with the amperage testing that you don't want to touch with the battery you also don't want to continuity check the battery or check resistance for the battery which is going to be either that audible click there or that ohm setting there if you were to do that you go ahead and touch these you're going to blow the circuit in your digital multimeter once again and now you're out for the count for however much you paid for it so Remember that with checking the battery, you're just checking voltage with your multimeter. That's it. If you're checking continuity, that's for like wires that you've disconnected, they're not part of the circuit anymore. Um, and then if you're checking amperage, you can check amperage if you know it's below 10 amps. You know our batteries are not gonna be below 10 amps because they have like cold cranking gaps of up in the five, 600s and such. Anyways, just keep that in mind. As always, you guys, thanks for watching the videos, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please continue to do so. I look forward to posting more videos, so make sure to stay tuned. This has been another video from Anthony at DIY Auto Tech. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you next time.